the tools recommended for this procedure are a pair of pliers, a quarter inch wrench, and a half inch wrench. The tools you need for the check valve replacement process are as follows. A torque wrench that can go up to or above 75 inch pounds with a half inch socket. half inch wrench, a vise. The materials you need are just the check valves and the check valve seals. Before we get started, make sure you power down your pump. Make sure your power cord is unplugged from the back, as well as any communication lines you may have hooked to the back. And remove all tubing from your fluid path, your outlet and your inlet. Remove the head from the pump. First disconnect the outlet line using your half inch wrench to put on the check valve housing and the quarter inch wrench to remove the tubing. Next, you're going to need to lo loosen the thumb nuts to hold the head on to the pump. Let's get your pair of pliers. Loosen them up. And remove them the rest of the way with your hands. After that, you can grab the head, just pull it off. If any of the gaskets or backup washers come off with it, go ahead and slide it back on just so you can keep track of them. After you have the head removed, you want to loosen up the check valve housings. so you can get the check valves out. And for this I recommend a vise. Slide it in, doesn't matter which end you start with. Nope, oh, get your half inch wrench. And you see, you don't take it all the way off yet, you can just loosen it. Flip it over. You can take it off the rest of the way, just with your fingers. Sometimes, because you torque it down to 75 inch pounds, the check valve and the check valve seal can get stuck. Um, if you have a small screwdriver, pick, something that's preferably peak would be best so you don't scratch any of the seals. You can just knock it loose. It should come right out. And if you're using something that is stainless steel, just be sure not to scratch up where the surface of the uh, seal for the check valve actually seals on the head. After you have the check house valvings removed, 
the check valve is taken out. Figure out the orientation of your head. Some of the heads on the front of it will come with an arrow pointing in the direction. If you do not have an arrow on your pump head, you can check on the inside. You'll notice there's a small hole and a larger one. The larger hole will be your inlet and the smaller hole is going to be your outlet side. And it's the same for the check valve housings. And on the other side as well. The larger hole will be your inlet and the small, smaller hole will be your outlet. Once you have your flow orientation figured out for the head and the check valve housings, we'll go ahead and set up the check valves. Now each of these check valves has an arrow stenciled to the side of them that defines the direction of flow or the direction in which the fluid will flow through it. So we'll start with the inlet. So grab your inlet check valve housing. For the inlet, since it's usually on the bottom of the head, you're going to want the orientation arrow facing up, which means the stainless side will be facing up, and the Preston seat will be facing down. In order for the seal to prop or the check valve to properly seal to the head, we add a check valve seal washer, which goes on the stainless side of the check valve, which is the side that seals with the head. And you just place that on. For the outlet, grab the housing. Since the outlet will be on top of the head like this, you're going to want the arrow facing towards the outlet side, which means the stainless side will be up and the arrow will be pointing up, but when it's flipped over, it's going to be the opposite. And since the stainless side is going to be sealing with the check valve housing, It'll be stainless to stainless. You're going to want to put your seal washer in first. And you get your check valve. Put the stainless side down. And then the Preston seat should be facing up. You can go ahead and grab your pump head, grab your inlet, and remember the inlet goes to the large hole. And go ahead and screw it on. Make it finger tight. And then do the same with the outlet. Then you can go ahead, put it in your vise again. You want to torque it to 75 inch pounds.
And then your new check valve install is complete. After installing the new seal and or installing the new check valves, you gotta put the head back on the pump. Before you put it on, make sure you have the right orientation so your flow path is correct. And the inlet is always the bigger of the two ports. So that would be your inlet. And that would be your outlet. And the outlet always goes up. So after you figure out the orientation, slide the pump head back on. Wait till you can feel it pressing against the piston. Put your thumb in the middle and then press down. Then grab your thumb nuts. Come on. Tighten them down finger tight and grab your pair of pliers. Turn it about an extra quarter of a turn. And then hook up any lines that you might have disconnected. Successfully reinstalled.